In this simulated negotiation, each character is an autonomous agent driven by its own beliefs, desires, intentions, and understanding of the social context. The trainee can influence individual characters through his words or actions. Coalitions between characters can emerge and change based on interactions between the autonomous agents, the trainee, and events in the world. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Captain. Hello, Captain. Thank you for meeting with me. You're doing excellent work here. Initial compliments build familiarity, creating trust, which is essential to successful negotiation. How may I help you? I have orders to move this clinic to a camp near the U.S. base. To evaluate demands such as this, the characters use a psychological theory of emotions called appraisal theory. To perform the evaluation, the characters each have a task model of actions that may take place and the resulting states. Each character forms appraisals of the state based on their goals. Positive appraisals appear in green, while negative appraisals are in red. In this case, the doctor has a strong goal to maintain neutrality. Thus, he sees a move near the U.S. base as threatening. These appraisals are then used to form an assessment of the suggested action in emotional terms such as fear or hope. The individual emotions are aggregated to form an overall emotional assessment of the suggestion. Thus, the emotion model is central to decision-making in virtual humans. With their negative view of the suggested move, the characters at first try to avoid the negotiation. We have many matters to attend to. I understand, but it is imperative that we move the clinic out of this area. Doctor, you should continue to run a clinic at the market. We need a local clinic. I must remain neutral. I cannot allow this to become an American clinic. Since his first suggestion has been rejected, the captain suggests an alternative. Would you be willing to move downtown? In considering this option, the characters assess the suggestion given the current world state and also evaluate how it could be improved through negotiation. If the potential results of a favorable outcome are better than other options, the characters will negotiate. We can discuss moving the clinic downtown. We would need to improve water access in the downtown area, Captain. We could dig a well for you. Captain, we need medical supplies in order to run the clinic downtown. We could deliver medical supplies downtown, Doctor. There is not enough power downtown, Captain. We could provide you with power generators. Very well, Captain. I agree to have the clinic downtown. Once the Elder has been convinced that his goals have been met, he will now become an ally in attempting to persuade the Doctor. Doctor, I think you should run the clinic downtown. Elder, the clinic downtown should be in an acceptable condition before we move. I can renovate the downtown clinic, Doctor. To illustrate how agents are driven by an underlying model, we can change the model on the fly and demonstrate how it alters the negotiation. For example, we can alter the elder's belief about the trainee's offer of power generators. I don't believe you can provide us with power generators, Captain. As a consequence, the elder changes his view about the desirability of moving and is no longer an ally. The doctor should continue to run a clinic at the market, Captain. At the same time, if external events intervene, they can also affect the negotiation. For example, if the market is threatened by insurgents, it becomes much less desirable to stay. Let's run the clinic downtown, Elder. Well, I think I understand. Very well, Captain, I agree to have the clinic downtown.